Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we ask one question on this channel, which is, do they write them and sing them like they used to? Now, a lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, but I am not so sure. And today, well, we're a defender of the 21st century, but we're going to hit up a uh, 90s band that just released a new album, Depeche Mode. And, you know, I have to say that uh, I like Depeche Mode, but never been a top 100 kind of band for me. Um, I remember in um, 1990, I was a DJ, and I, I kind of missed the boat on Depeche Mode and The Cure. They were kind of outside my orbit. I was pretty into almost every kind of music you can imagine. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just... Um, but uh, I do like Depeche Mode, and there's a lot of reactions to their new album that just came out about three weeks ago. So this isn't anything, you know, groundbreaking here. I checked on uh, I, I checked on YouTube, and there's probably a good ten reactions to a number of their songs from this album. But I do want to listen to it. It's getting great reviews, and so that's why it's piqued my interest. I I just watched a review, too, on Taste Like Music. So I'm going to hit up the first song, which is called My Cosmos is Mine, if I've got the title of that correct. And they're just down to a duo, Martin L. Gore and Dave Gahan. Gahan, Gahan. I'm not sure how to say his last name. But, you know, he actually is a singer that I like a lot, and he had a uh, offshoot band. I'm trying to remember what that band was called. It was um, a band he did outside of um, Depeche Mode, but they had an album I, I really liked. I liked it as well, if not more than <laughs> Depeche Mode, if you can believe that. So anyway, this is from the brand new album, and this is a lyric video. I have read the lyrics in advance, but I've not listened to the song. So this would be a first reaction to anything off the new album. Let's go ahead and hit it up. My cosmos is mine. Yeah. Mm. That's really cool, actually. That very industrial. And now we're getting more of those Depeche Mode vibes with that synth.
Nice fade. Still fading. So I have a lot to say. About, I have a lot to say about this. It's um, you know, I had read that it was influenced by the pandemic, and uh, that actually they'd started the album before uh, one of the band members passed away. And, you know, all these pandemic-themed albums, um, it's almost as if what album isn't, right? I mean, it seems to have had a huge effect on everybody at the same time. So a lot of times, you know, I don't really hear it. Someone will say something's pandemic influence, but it won't sound that different than other things they've done. This sounds different. So... Now, maybe I haven't done a deep enough dive into their whole catalog. Uh, I'm more familiar with the singles, but everything is usually very danceable. And this is very ambient. And so you've got the dark music that now goes with these dark lyrics they've always had. Because they've always, they've always had dark lyrics, but the music is so buoyant and you just want to dance to it. This is not dance music, <laughs> not at all. And all those moods and textures and, and ambience uh, really, really took me back and caught me by surprise. I, I like it quite a, I, I like it a lot. It's, uh, it's very dark. So, and you had those um, little industrial, almost sounds like a steam train, you know, that kind of thing that comes in. That reminds me of, uh, oh, Gary Newman used it a little bit. Um, Maybe, uh, yeah, some of those uh, 80s industrial bands. And I, I love that sound. I'm a sucker for that. So, yeah, very, very interesting. The lyrics are simple, but they capture a very poignant point, which is uh, we're, we talk a lot about people being in their own world or their own bubble. So to say my cosmos is mine, lyrically, you could look at that as a really, really cool lyric, or you could look at it as a really disturbing lyric because it, it, it's, it's also about isolation and the music feels isolated. Really cool. And it didn't sound like classic Depeche Mode uh, because of all the reverb on Dave's voice. Uh, definitely post modern production so it's not produced like their classic period 
it's got a lot of reverb on everything and especially the voice and it was a little lower in the mix and so it was it was definitely updated for the current sound but then eh, about 30 40 seconds into that song you hear some synths come in and then you're like oh okay that that's Depeche Mode but if I didn't know this was them it might have taken me about 40 seconds to go Depeche Mode uh, it just didn't open the way I think of that band. This is not personal Jesus. Or, By the way, if you've never checked it out, there is a guy from Columbia. If I can find it, I'll put it in the, um, I'll put the link below. But he only, he only does uh, Depeche Mode covers with his two children. The most fun you'll ever have watching uh, uh, their video of enjoy the silence makes me smile every time and the kids are just beaming as they're beating on on these different instruments and uh it's just in his little home studio he's tapping on plastic coke bottles and everything else and playing keyboards and they're tapping percussion and uh the the, the older one is a girl and she's playing uh some kind of string instrument, if I recall, and the just pure joy of that. I'll, I'll try to find that and uh, and put a link there. I think you'll really enjoy it. But uh, this was not what I expected. Uh, super interesting, and like I say, the lyrics the the lyrics are simple, but they're good, and that's a hard thing to do. A really hard thing to do, you know, almost haiku like in its simplicity. But it packs a lot of punch. So, yeah, I really like this. Um, I can see why it's getting a lot of attention. And I'm sure the other tracks probably are in some different moods and styles. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, like I say, they're just a duo with a bunch of guest programmers and um, string players. So, that's where we're at. Uh, I'm going to give this an A. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, let me know what you thought. And I don't know what else to say about it. It's um, just very uh, moody and ambient. I just didn't expect that. So, yeah, very cool. Something a little different. Uh, you know, I was thinking, okay, they're kind of a 90s band. You know, what are they really doing in the 21st century uh, to make it worth, um, not my time, but my focus and theme on the channel because we're trying to do 21st century music. Do these guys really qualify? I would say yes, after listening to this song. It's got a whole different uh, production style. So very cool. Uh, I would like to hear, um, the vocals are very subdued. So I'm interested to, to know if uh, Dave kind of belts it out a little bit more on some of the other tracks. So yeah, maybe we'll hit up uh, the other single on here, the one about ghosts. Uh, well, I don't want to keep the video rambling any longer um yeah i just you can tell i'm a, you know i'm not as quite as chatty as usual i'm kind of affected by the song it's really it's really cool i like it so as we say here in bonita mexico buen dia <laughs>